Up next on the bench is a Denfeld seat taken from a 1965 Allstate 175cc motorcycle. At some point in time the cover's been changed and the padding is in horrific condition. Some of the original details are missing. It took some help from experts to get this figured out. I need to work with these carefully so that I don't bend the chrome. I got a missing bolt right here. This foam is a sticky mess. I'll let the cleaner work a few minutes and then I'll scrape away the old adhesive. This little cardboard tab was missing from the previous Denfeld seat I worked on. It's a very important component. It bridges the gap from this sharp point and sanding the cardboard tapers this off and smooths out along the edge. With this edge feathered off, I'll go ahead and glue these tabs in place. All right, I'll set this in place and use the sandpaper. Just gently ease this off on this edge here. I want to soft it where, soften it where the metal meets the cardboard. Alright, that should work out pretty good. For replicating the rubberized foundation material, I found that bonding two layers of vinyl tarp material works out quite well. Alright, I've let the glue set up a few minutes and we'll bond these two layers together. Get it squared up and 
push the air out as I go down with the two layers. Next I need to make a template working off of various center references on the frame. Working off this first template, I made a copy and I'll use it in order to lay out the template for the rubber mat. I don't know why these pull strips are white and cut with pinking shears, but I'll follow suit. Alright, I got a nice even fit down the side and the holes line up with the springs. Good to go. Alright, this is ready for foam. In researching this seed, I found that some were marketed with two seams and the Sears logo, and other covers without the logo had a single seam down through the center. The customer ordered a replacement cover from Austria, and it has the single seam, so I'm going to make alterations and include the Sears logo. A few years ago when I restored one of these, I found that this HR70 inch and a half thick worked great. I'm going to follow a similar design only tailored to fit this cover. This cover that was sent from Austria was very poorly cut and sewn, but I trusted it was patterned accurately. I'll use uh, some of my patterns from the previous Denfeld seat and try to get this all trued up. This cover was very poorly cut and crooked across here, so I struck my pattern off of this half. I'll lay this out and book match it to the other side. I'll match up my template to the center seam, then I'll make alterations to this side panel. When I lay out the side panel, I need to make a seam allowance here. I'm 
Vinyl materials generally have a softer stretch going across the bolt and much tougher and resistant to stretch up and down the roll. I like to cut these panels out so that I have the stretch the long ways and the good firm pull for applying the cover. I'll lay out the seat panel so the stretch goes the long way. I'll spray eight to ten coats of this leather and vinyl finish feathered on real lightly. Give it a while and come back. I'll give this a heavy application of spray adhesive, set it aside just to cure out a little bit. I'll use 3M 8090 to bond these two together. Alright, well that went down pretty good. Well, that cover sewed together very nicely. All of my seams matched up. I'll close up the raw ends of this white bead with some adhesive and this cover will be ready to put on. I'll use vinyl liquid patch inside this seam to hold the raw ends of that white bead together.
Another of the missing details in this seat has been the use of white thread in the strap. Before I sew my replacement up, I'm going to blacken this backing here so that when it's trimmed off, I don't have a white line. All right, I laid over a sheet of plastic and it's time to see how this cover is going to fit. With the cover clamped in place, I'll work with the seams and this cord and make sure that it's all evenly pointed downward. Using these reference points taken from a previous cover, I'll start by gluing this in place around the back of the frame. I'll line up center and these reference marks and pull this over the back. I'll measure these distances and keep them equal on both sides. With the cover glued in place, I'll trim off this excess and put on the chrome. I'm going to give just a loose start to all of these and make sure I get them lined up. And I'll go back and tighten them all in place. That's a wrap on that job.